Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Mast, and welcome back to some more Smite Conquest. Today, we're playing some Rama ADC in ranked. Right now, with Hunters being disgusting with the current crit build, those Ramas, those Jingwei ADCs where you're really just doing disgusting things with auto attacks and not really needing to rely so much on abilities or anything, they stand out a lot. Rama's really good right now. Jing's really good right now. Um, Ishtar's really good right now. There's some others, stuff like that. But we're going to be going, I think, a slightly different build than you'll typically see for the meta. I think you'll typically be seeing a cowl over an arrow. Other than that, it's going to be pretty meta. Uh, a little greedy. We're probably not going to go pen for quite a while because I probably won't need it for quite a while. But right now, hunters are, are clapping, man. I got to say, I, I was sleeping on Boomerang straight up, at least after the buffs. I think maybe before the buffs, not so much. After the buffs, I, I really thought that like the early game, like the occasion where you get that, that Boomerang passive isn't going to be relevant enough. Oh, it is. It's, it's, you get it a lot more than I felt like. <laughs> I don't know if it's like the first games I built it or what I wasn't getting it as much. It's so strong, man. Oh, that sucks. If he hits that, we get a clap. He had to hit the dash, though. Unfortunate, man. Bold going horrific. I respect it, though. But yeah, we're going arrow, which is a little different. I don't think too many people are going to go arrow right now. It gives you more DPS and it gives you more potential late game. It's, it's a greedier build than the, uh, the cow build. But arrow's actually not bad right now. It's hard enough. Like, it's fine. I'm pretty sure jungle's not around, right? Oh wait, actually jungle could be around. My bad, I don't know why. I thought the, the death was where jungle was. It is not. It is not at all. Should probably be chilling. Uh, one thing I would recommend, if you guys are playing Rama right now, normally level two, um, getting your two hits so hard right now. It puts in a lot of work. Nice, we actually got the arrow there. I maybe should have just killed Iza, honestly. If it goes wrong, I just die is the issue with it. But I maybe could have just killed her. We're about to try in a sec too, see if she'll sleep on it. Where are you? You over here? No? Okay. <laughs> All right, well, that's fine. We just straight up went through a gank there. Yeah, that sucks. I think if I played that a little better, we could have gotten a kill on her. I'm not sure though, because it could have gone wrong. It could have been greedy. All right, is there a buff for me to do? Yeah, we getting this. Yeah, Rama, Rama claps, man. Oh, let me get it. Let that squishy get nice and tanky. Oh, hi. Yeah, we just eating this? Oh, good silence, man. Good silence. I like it. I like it. That was smart on his part. So we get Iza beads down. Please. Are you? How did that not hit? What? How did that not hit the minion? Am I crazy? Shouldn't that have just hit? Let's see if she'll let me do anything. Yeah, every little bit I can get right now. Those arrows are so strong. Got another one. <laughs> Got another one on her. Okay, Loki's not over here, so we are absolutely chilling right now. I don't think Ease is gonna goof though. I kinda, can we zone her a little bit? A little baby zone? Perhaps? Yeah, yeah, miss out on these minions. Oh, I'm being cringe. It's ranked and I am playing it real cringe. I'm assuming, uh, I don't know why I wouldn't. If, if Ganesh kills an arrow, we get the arrow, right? Because like it's still giving me the last hit. I don't know if it's like for some reason why that'd be coded differently. I kind of feel like it could be, but I don't know. I haven't built arrow in a long time. Ganesh isn't all that common. I don't know how that works. All right, so we're gonna be going Blood Forge for our life seal. Um, Blood Forge is good enough right now. I feel like there's not too much reason to build Aussie. Like, it's cheap enough. You actually do get that passive relatively often if you're doing anything on ADC. That, that Aussie just doesn't feel all that strong. And it's less important to have the lifesteal from Aussie now. And Blood Forge helps. Movement speed's actually like a crazy strong stat, so I really like going Blood Forge for the move speed. You get more power, which scales better. Normally, it's easy enough to get all the attack speed you could need on a hunter. Especially on somebody like Rama, where we have a stim. You good? Might not be good. I don't know how much I gotta do here. Oh, she went into it. That's so bad. Should die in a sec. Yeah, I didn't even know what the beads at. I only beads it because I wasn't sure if Ganesh would have anything. Like naturally, if he has that, we just kill her. But I wasn't playing around. 
All right, can I greed for even more farm? Nice, well played, man. I've just been playing this lane really well so far. So early game, like right now, they're kind of playing aggro, so we're getting a little bit of action. Normally, you're not going to get a ton of early game action on ADC. You just don't hit that hard. On my way. Typically, it's going to be, we get our first item. First item's kind of nice to have. It's not that big of a deal. And then we get boomerang. And the boomerang, like you start being real aggro in lane once you get that going because you actually hit really hard. And then you scale up and you become the most broken role in the game. Something like that. You start just two-shotting late game. <laughs> start doing some absurd things. How's it going so far? Agni is suffering. Tear is clapping. Seems to be about it. Loki doesn't really have farm, even though he's not doing anything. So that's good. Like, the fact he's only level 5 right now, he's super behind. Be right back. Nice try. Be careful. I don't know if I get to do this. I have ult, though. Are you okay? Thank God we got the minion diff. It's like you have got to be kidding me. If she is sitting here and acting like this doesn't one shot her, and then it doesn't one shot her, but she literally died to like an archer, so <laughs> so it works out. Yeah, I don't know why she played it like that. I actually, I'm pretty confident I would have hit the snipes anyways because she didn't have her three up, and and she wasn't super far, so I think I would have just landed them. But she straight up, she was acting like I just don't kill her there. I mean, maybe she didn't expect 450, but I don't know. That's pretty greedy. Oh my god! Boys! 4 and 0 tier? He has all of their kills! Alright, I don't know. We might get Loki ganked. We'll try and be a little wary of that. I don't know if Beads Oral. Please don't rotate to this. Oh, I messed the timing up. I think we're good. He's just on mids, right? Right? I think he has to, like that. It'd be so weird if he ganged me there. I don't know. I'm assuming we're chilling. All right, we'll back in a sec. Work on crit a little bit. Yeah, that's okay. Or do we invade a purple buff? I actually might just be able to invade this. His ult comes up pretty soon, too. And Loki's mid. Yeah, we should go for this. Oh, no, please. Nice. All right, well, unfortunate for Anubis. <laughs> it's funny that Anubis isn't, isn't feeding at all. It doesn't make sense. I mean, Tyr has, like, all the kills. And, like, why would he be dying to Tyr? That's random. Which is funny. The, the super risky god that tends to feed... That is known for feeding, not feeding at all. He's been popping off a bit. Alright. So, if you guys are curious, by the way, I don't think I really highlighted this earlier. So, Gilded Arrow does 20 basic attack damage, not a ton. Right now, Death Toll and Cal give 18 power, which I would argue is generally better on almost any god. On Rama, it's not really. But most gods, you get some power on abilities. That's way more valuable. If you're missing out on two damage difference for your autos, normally the power is way more important. Um... But you get up to 25% attack speed from getting your arrow proc, which is crazy. Do I ever reach you? Oh, she sharded too. But I'm just kind of faster? Wait. I don't think it's kills. Holy sh I tried to- oh my god. I don't know where I was going with those. You know what? Maybe if she didn't sit still before, she did just live. Because those snipes were not on point. <laughs> those snipes were not remotely on point. Oh, did she actually leave? I thought she was just lurking, honestly. Yeah, Anubis is clapping. Oh my god. El Capitan. It seems like whenever I play this guy, it seems like he really likes to play some weird stuff. I think I've always seen him on, like, very specific gods. Like, he's a Nox player, Anubis player. I think there's another god. Some of those, like, very specific picks. That you don't tend to see a ton. Because they're just kind of quirky. And a lot of people aren't necessarily good at them or like them. I suppose I'll take a tower. Yeah, you want to stack in the wave for me? Yeah, don't mind it. Don't mind it one bit. God, I have so much farm on her right now. 
All right, so now that we have the boomerang online, I can actually get really aggressive. Like, I'm already trying to fight hers because I have a huge lead. Um, but in general, fights should feel a lot better because as long as we're not just getting completely wrecked on RNG, as long as we're getting any of these crits, we can scale up really hard as we fight. Like, if we get a crit relatively early on, then we can get that bonus crit chance if we're actually picking up the boomerang, and then we can use that to get even more crit chance, and you just scale up so fast. And the move speed's nice for sticking to people. Let's see if she'll push up here. Oh, Iza, no. Oh, Iza, no. Yeah, like right there, we got two boomerangs. Obviously, she's dead as hell anyways. I feel like I could have just... I feel like I could have just not had this item and I still would have killed her. I don't care. Loki's dead. I'm chilling. I think I'm fine. Yeah, that was... uh. I mean, the gank worked. Like, she didn't see me on the map, so she just threed over all greedy. Yeah, that was a little greedy. Hold up. I don't know, man. I don't know. My snipe's not on point. My snipe's not remotely on point. What can I say? Oh. I'm just dead. Damn, if I got God RNG right there, I'd kill him. Which is wild, right? Isn't it crazy that I have any chance at killing him there? That sucks. I think if, uh, I think if it's just Loki, we're okay. Cabal really destroys me there, though. Naturally, it's kind of greedy to be up there. Bye. Just a bit. Alright, we'll start working on that. We're gonna work on Demon Blade. We're gonna get Deathbringer next. Go a billion crit. Which, if anybody's curious, the way this build ends up working out, because eventually we're going into Ornate, because Diamond kind of sucks. Um, Diamond Arrow versus Ornate Arrow, that is. But we get 20%, 20%, 30% with Deathbringer to get to 70 and so if we're not proccing boomerang passive and we actually stack this thing up, we just straight up get 100% crit. Um, so like we're really not tending to overcap. Because like normally you're not going to fully have ornate and normally you'll get a little bit of boomerang value. So you don't really get like a diminishing returns type of thing. Okay, I might just be dead. You already have this again. My god. Bro, what the hell? What is cab cooldown? I have wards, I didn't get a place him, I just walked back and died. Ward right. Yeah, you gotta get over there, man. She cannot be pushing tower for free. He's old, Campbell, Loki old. My god, man. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, what is Campbell cooldown? I literally died to Campbell, spawned, came back, died. Is it 60 seconds? Like, he doesn't, he has 10%. <laughs> it's 10% cooldown. That's actually it. That's crazy. It must just be absurdly low. That's so lame. I'm completely fine if uh, if it's not for Cabal. I'm just chilling there. It's not even close. I just assumed I didn't even have to worry about it yet. Alright, well, Iza is literally caught up off of that. I'm still going to farm her 1v1. But, but she is just straight up caught up off that. I'm coming, I'm coming. Uh, are we greeting? I don't think he gets to do this. Do we have anything? Give me that arrow. Oh, unfortunate timing on that. Because I'm assuming he dashed like the moment he got it off cooldown. So if we had that roll any sooner, I just get to kill him. That's fine. We'll dip. We'll back it up. I'll actually chuck this word down. Or well, maybe maybe we grab a little wave first. Since we got a Ganesh here anyways. All right. I'm dipping. Ah, poor Guan, man. I'm surprised he's having such a rough time. Because Guan's like at least potentially a tier counter. But he might just be getting spam ganked because these guys have like same kill participation. Might just be getting ganked off a of cooldown. It's not like Loki's been here all that much either. All right, Iza, we doing this? Oh, she's got a wave. Uh-oh. Don't care. Actually just dead. 
Where are you? Aegis diffed. Aegis diffed. Unfortunate. And of course, the moment the snipes are on point, I get cucked by Aegis. The, mo <laughs> the moment I just straight up clap. That's okay. I wonder how close that auto was to getting her out of invis too. I don't know which way she went. All right, let me rotate mid. Uh oh, you good? Oh my, he's clapping him. Oh my god. He's just dumpstering him, man. It's just an Anubis stiff. What can I say? All right, I don't shred this tier super hard, but we should still go on him. Unless he just doesn't push up. Never mind. Oh, he's at red. <laughs> Getting sneaky over there, huh? Bro, of course the minion gets in the way, man. I missed everything. Okay. If I didn't straight up miss everything, I actually think we still have a chance there. How much did the dash do when I sent? 1k. <laughs> if we sit in dash, it does 1k. I'm not saying it's OP. We did just sit in it. I just like it's funny. Just a measly little 1k damage from the Agni dash. No, it's, it's only because I sat in it. It doesn't even... Agni dash got like hard nerfed forever ago. I don't remember how long ago that was. It used to do way more damage. All right, I do have ult for this. I don't know if we'll be able to reach her though. After this plays out. <laughs> nah, shot man. Probably gonna get rotated on here. That's funny. I wonder how he got so juked. Cause I get I get ulting into beads, but he just like a whiff. I wonder what happened there. All right, we grab this. Why can't we just do Fire Giant at 16 minutes? I would love to do a little Fire Giant right now. By the way, this rotation might seem weird. I think it could pay off really big. Oh, and it could pay off right here. If I can land my autos. Nice. I am dipping. Yep, try it. Try it, see what happens. I forgot I don't have beads. I am I am just not gonna lie, I just straight up forgot that I don't have beads. I don't know why I thought I had beads. They're not remotely up yet. Nice. But okay, I don't think we gotta ult that. Although he did barely die, so maybe <laughs> maybe we did. It's kinda ridiculous. It's a little greedy to rotate here. Okay, I gotta work on my aim, man. I'm so inconsistent right now. I've been using this new mouse and I'm about to use another new mouse because this one's a little too small to my liking. So I got like the slightly larger version. So like sometimes I am just like God aim. Not this game, but in general. Uh, <laughs> this game, this game like no God aim. Yeah, I do just have straight up Aegis if he gets too ambitious here. He's just dead. There we go. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully I can keep it nice and clean late game. Cause uh I'm <laughs> I'm a little scared for it right now if I keep having some of these potatoes like I've had. But these absolute potatoes, man. Oh my so many arrows. Keep them coming. Okay, you can you can reset it, man. It's okay, you can reset it. Like I am I am full HP, it's okay. Ooh, I guess we're like through the wall so we get all these arrow procs. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, I think this is absurdly greedy. We might just not back and get entire level 20 right here because I'm so close to it. I think money wise, it's not going to work out in a way that makes sense. But hypothetically, if I get a quick 700 gold, then I get Deathbringer and Ornate and we probably just win the game. Like, I get such an absurd power spike. It's so early into the game. Yeah, we might only need one more wave. Let's see if we can tag this. Ah, a little bit. Little baby bit. Nice. Give me that one more wave, baby. Are we pushing or nah? No? Okay. 
Oh, yeah. I don't have the money, though. I gotta greed a little longer. I gotta greed one more wave. So greedy. I don't even know if it's worth. Like, the power spike is absolutely absurd, which is cool. But our team might get punished for me rotating so late. Be careful. Be careful. He is... Are you DCing? Or is he just crazy? He's just crazy, isn't he? Just ran it tier two. <laughs> he comes straight lining other tier two so hard. I thought Anubis actually DC'd, man. I got scared for a second. Oh, let's go. Good stuff, boys. All right, so right now without uh, Boomerang proc, we have, what, 85%? Yeah, 85% crit. And Ease is being cringe. Please go FG, man. Ease is split pushing. Yeah, because she's assuming she's going to keep going. She's an Iza player. I feel like she will. In the leg. Be careful. Oh, she's being awful slow. Maybe she did dip. Normally, dude, Iza, Iza mains just love to straight up run it down. Run it down their lanes. What the? Yeah, I don't I don't know about all that. Or all that. I'm, okay. <laughs> they did not play that smart. They needed a group. Let's see if he pads bad here. Oh, we might get the pathing diff. Let's go. Wait, th that kill? One HP? You're kidding. Wow. I just thought that would clean him up. No, no tear fearlessing. Damn, our boys backed off of that, really? Okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. I want to murder tear. I'll stop. I suppose we can. Right, well, that was a uh, pretty good fight. One okay, barely managed to get to Agni. So close to just clapping him right there. All right, one thing is gonna be a little bit weird. Would highly recommend, by the way. Also not taking this guy's red. Wait, does he already have a red? He just got red, okay. Yeah, yeah, Um. I'm not going to buy any... I guess I don't even need to back. <laughs> I was going to say I'm going to back, but like I don't need to buy items. Normally, with Ornate, if you're not finishing an entire item, just save the money once you have Ornate online. You get so many stats out of the passive. It is worth buying items, but don't buy Tier 2s. Tier 2s are never going to compare to Ornate. Like right now, I just got this to 26. We are getting, what is it? 25% attack speed, 20% crit. No, <laughs> no tier two is coming close to that. So if we get like Dom money, we will buy an entire Dom. We're not going to buy like tier two Dom. And you can still buy wards and stuff. Uh, Level 12 cabin mid looking kind of juicy. I'm not going to lie. Looking kind of juicy, man. Oh, that scared me. Okay, my bad. I heard a blink. I just ulted. <laughs> I assumed it would be a counter gank. It was Naja. My bad, my bad. Hopefully we don't need that ult too bad. Okay. You crazy man. <laughs> you crazy man. Bing. I was about to do ADC things to him right there. I was about to just laser beam him down. Where is this Loki at? There he is. I think I saw, yeah. Straight up made him ult out. God, look at the laser beam go. And then I almost choked it. Oh, I'm getting so sneaky. Oh, wait. Am I sneaky? I really thought I was sneaky. ADC is a balanced roll. Wait, okay. I was waiting for her to come out of invis. Bro, boys! Team! Why are we, what? Naja just ran off and farmed. Like, end the game, man. It's ranked. <laughs> what are we, that's such a throw. I'm so confused. Okay, Titan, Titan. Bro, boys! Okay. Be 
I I am getting a little lost right now. I'm not gonna lie. Naja Naja keeps having health and just running off, and I don't like. We are wiping their team, and we're not trying to end. I don't get it. Attack fire giants. Like that is that is throws 101 right there. Is team wipe and then farm. <laughs> I I just straight up do not get it. Hopefully we don't. If we lose, like I know I know who I'm blaming. Attack fire giants. I know who I'm pointing fingers at. I'm coming, I'm coming. All right, we're not gonna take red. I'm gonna leave it for Anubis. I also don't get quite as much value out of red on Rama with this build. Like, and that, that's true for any hunter. Um, Since we get 70 attack damage instead of power, red's not, like that's a decent amount of scaling that you lose off of red. It's not like the reason I'm giving it to him, but it doesn't matter a little bit. Nice, okay. We run it down left lane a bit. That was a 1k crit right there. We on that 1k crit level damage now? You love to see it. It was crazy that last fight where I did all that damage. I think we were only five items, right? I'll attack. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I got time to be responding to that. Is that just a dead Agni? Damn. Wants an Aegis down, that's an Iza down. That's a tier thinking he's real sneaky. <laughs> Bro, Loki just disappeared, man. Loki just straight up disappeared. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, I played ADC. I'm a terrible person. Bro, I love the arrow, man. Cal, Cal more reliable. Arrow just destroys late game. Arrow hits so hard late. You get crazy stats. We get a little extra HP. We get 70 attack damage. We get potential 40% attack speed, potential 35% crit, if I remember right, is the, is the full stat line. Like, that, that item is two items in one. My god. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video, and I will see you all in the next one. I've been seeking for the glory. Say, say, say my name. And I've been trying to wrap my own story in the search for fame. I'm sitting here in this empty room. Walls keep tumbling down.